What's up? This is Altaric here from smartbytrans.com. If you are in the market for a new Element by computer from Waho, you're probably wondering if you should go with the Element ROM or the new Element Bolt. Other than the obvious price and size difference, how is the new Bolt that was just released last week different than the ROM and uh, which one is best for you. In this video, I'll talk about the differences between the two GPS bike computers and hopefully I can help you decide which one to go with and help you make a decision. And if you decide to pick one up, I'll have links in the description. Those are affiliate links that do help support my channel, but they cost you nothing extra. And if you find this video helpful, take a second to hit the like button down below. It helps the channel and also consider subscribing so you do not miss any videos from me in the future. Let's start with the design. The element bolt is clearly the smaller one here. It is 3.05 inches by 1.86 inches, where the element ROM measures 3.5 by 2.3 inches. Also, the element ROM is a little heavier, but the element bolt is slightly beefier than the ROM. The bolt measured 21.4 millimeter in thickness, where the ROM measured 20.8 millimeter. Barely noticeable, but worth mentioning. With a bigger size, you also get a bigger battery. The ROM has 17 hours of battery life where the Bolt has 15 hours, plenty enough to last you all day of bike riding. Wahoo updated the charging port on the Bolt and now we have a USB-C port for quicker charging where the ROM has a regular micro USB port. Definitely there are advantages and disadvantages to both. I think we all have some micro USB cable somewhere where a USB-C is a better port, but because it's newer, cores might not be as widely available. So if you are traveling and you forget uh, your charging cord, there is a much higher chance that you will find a micro USB cord somewhere than a USB-C cord. So something to consider, but definitely a USB-C port is an upgrade. The bonds layout is the same, three on top, two on the right side, and the power bond on the left side. The top three bonds are convex or curved outward where the ROM's bonds are curved inward. I don't know if one is better than the other. Personally, I do not have an issue with either one. Some people prefer the inward curve on the element ROM. However, if you don't get your finger in just right, they can be harder to press. Also, the bonds on the bolt have a flatter surface where the bonds on the ROM are more curved. Overall, personally, I think the bonds on the bolt are easier to press than the ROM. It would be interesting to see if Wahoo ends up changing the bonds on the ROM to match the bolt in the future. Both have an aero design and come with Wahoo's aero mount that gives them a sleeker and aero look. Also, the ROM has a matte black finish where the bolt is mostly glossy with matte finish around the bonds. Personally, I think Wahoo should just go with all matte black finish. The Bolt has an updated 64 color screen with an ambient light sensor to make it easy to see in all condition and automatically adjust brightness. Where the ROM has 8 colors but in all honesty, the number of colors for me just did not sell the Bolt as a better screen. But the Bolt does have a more vibrant screen, the blacks are blacker on the Bolt and colors are just a little more vibrant. The Bolt has a 2.2 inches diagonal. 240 by 320 pixel screen, giving it 182 pixel density where the ROM is 2.7 inches diagonal and 240 by 400 pixels, which gives it a much lower pixel density than the Bolt. This gives color more density and makes text sharper on the Bolt than the ROM. Wahoo claims the Bolt has a faster internal CPU. Startup time on both devices still take a long time. The Bolt consistently took about 40 seconds to start and the ROM was just two to three seconds behind it. Map seems to render at the same speed on both devices. I personally did not notice uh, a difference between the two, even though Map seems to have more color details on the Bolt. For navigation, I like the ROM just because of its screen size, but as far as everything else, both devices have the same smart navigation and rerouting features. The Bolt can display up to nine fields, which you can customize within the Element app. On the ROM, you can have up to 11 fields. The Bolt allows you to have color highlighted fields. 
These are zone-driven fields based on hot rate or power. And on both devices, you can customize different pages with different fields. Both have the multi-sport feature and the handoff feature if you own a Wahoo Rival smartwatch. Both have LED lights that provide a quick way to see if you are on pace with metrics like speed, hot rate, and power as set up in the Element app. They also work for alerts and navigation. The ROM also has vertical LED lights that can be set to indicate speed, power, or hot rate. Also, they can be set up with the Garmin Verea rear view radar to signal for cars coming behind you. The new Bolt retails for 280 US dollars and the Element ROM retails for 380 dollars. So basically, you got to decide if the bigger screen, more battery life is worth the price. For me personally, I like the bigger screen and use the ROM primarily on my road bike, but for my tri bike, I like the smaller Bolt for sure because it just fits better on the aero bar. So before the new Bolt came out, it was much easier to pick one over the other, mainly because of all the navigation features on the Element ROM, but now it mainly comes down to size and uh, price. But if I am looking for something to use mainly for navigation, I would definitely go with the ROM just because of its screen size. The map, the turn notification are much better and easier to see on the bigger screen. For me, if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with the Element Bolt just because I like the small form factor for my tri bike. But something keeps me going back to the ROM. I can't pinpoint what it is. Maybe it's a matte black. The display on the ball too, on paper, is a better display, but it's not that much better in my opinion and enough for me to recommend the ball too over the ROM just based on the display alone. Uh, I like the ROM display just as much, if not even more, in certain situations, particularly navigation and indoor workouts. Anyway, hopefully this video helped you understand the differences between the two bike computers and help you make a decision. And if you decide to pick one up, let me know which one also, before you pick one up, uh, check out the links in the description. These are affiliate links that do help support my channel. That's pretty much it. If you find this video helpful, please take a second to hit the like button. Also subscribe if you've made it this far in this video and have not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.